Hello lovely love beings, my name is Lois and my website is called goldenactivations.com and I wanted to make a different kind of video today, one which, which was more activational, one that you could feel like you were here with me outside and seeing colours, feeling frequencies and being activated uh, in a different way, in a more interactive way. So I am trying to be a bit more high-tech uh, coming outside using different uh, materials today. So we'll see how we go. Just check that my mic is on. Yes. Okay. So bear with me as uh, we navigate these new terrains. So I've brought you outside so that you can see the greenery, hear the sounds as well. There might be some birds chirping, um, you might hear some water outside too. It's a, it's a busy Sunday morning today for me and here in Singapore. So I wanted to, to speak about the frequencies at the moment and the colours and the activations that some of you might be experiencing. So we've had huge gateways opening recently over the past few days and for me it called for me to completely go and collapse and lie down yesterday for the afternoon and I've been receiving activations, downloads and the frequencies that have been coming through more and more for me have been the green frequencies, the green ray and the depth and um, huge and vast uh, vastness of the array of frequencies that's held within the green ray. And of course the green ray is all to do with activation new frequencies coming through, uh, nature and birth and also deep inner heart connections going deeper within so that we are reaching new terrain within our hearts to bring forward this new frequency outside and to be able to experience it in our reality. So. I've been seeing different colours, different frequencies of green and um, the best way for me to show you is to actually show you some andaras that I'm working with that are assisting to activate these new frequencies within me and within you too. Many of you have been talking about how you're seeing green in your realities as well. So what this is really um, doing is assisting us to link in with and commune with Gaia and her higher frequencies, her higher realms and she's already ascended, she's already existing in these new frequencies and now by us going into this new terrain of frequency that we hold inside, deep inside the heart, we are also able to experience this outside in our realities. And for me, Gaia consciousness has been very, very potent and merging both my consciousness and Gaia consciousness is the process that I'm going through at the moment. And we can do this so simply by making the time and allowing ourselves to go into nature, to be in the greenery and to feel that expanse that nature has to offer us and that connection that we can get to from inside. And once we reach that deep inner connection from inside our hearts, then we realise that everything is in connect interconnected. We are completely interconnected with Earth, with Gaia, with nature, with all these realms and we now get the opportunity to experience these higher realms within Gaia consciousness which is extremely liberating, freeing, beautiful, heart expansive and it all resonates at a oneness frequency, this unity frequency that is so beautiful, so peaceful, so simple. And this is what's happening to many of us now on the planet. We are being called to simplify, to come back to the simplicity of life, come back to the heart. We are given the opportunity to connect 
deeper within the heart everything is there that's where we go to connect and then once we have this strong connection with our soul with our heart then everything seems to fall into place easier and that connection is everything that's what we work towards so let me share with you seeing as we are outside in this beautiful nature frequency let's share some of the andaras with you and the colors and the frequencies so here is a beautiful forest green verdant green color and it does hold a bit of golden frequency in it too but this is a new piece that uh, arrived uh, a few days ago from Elemental Ascension and I've been working with this piece now since uh, she arrived and she's absolutely beautiful and she for me captures uh, so much of the messages and the codes of the green ray and the green frequency she feels heart expansive she feels healing and nurturing and also she's just oozing this abundance, this abundance of nature. And she's melding so perfectly with the colors of the leaves of the trees behind her as well. So this is such a beautiful, beautiful color and frequency. So you can see there's a slight difference because with this piece, this piece, um, I was lucky enough to purchase when we spent time on Maui in Hawaii and this piece came through then for me and this is going back three or four years ago but interestingly enough I've had it all that time but I wasn't ready to actually merge consciousness with her or work with her although I worked with her in varying ways but we didn't connect on a deeper level until now until we are ready to access this abundance, this Christed frequency from within us. And we get to experience so much when we're ready to do this. We get to experience walking in new earth realities, actually believing and beginning to glimpse heaven frequencies, um, paradise frequencies, new earth higher earth frequencies where the realities are beautiful peaceful and just bountiful so this is what we all have to look forward to when we do this inner work and we go inside and we reach the depth of our heart and we find the forgiveness uh, that these greens are speaking about the forgiveness for everything and that we realize that it was all us from the beginning to the end, planning our journey and that it was all perfectly aligned and how it was meant to be. So there's some other greens that um, are coming through at the moment as well, which are this. This is a beautiful ascended Gaia piece. And when I look at this, it reminds me of an avocado and it shows us how interconnected everything is. So this is a time of going within, yes, and also looking at what we're eating, what's the foods that we're eating, what kind of frequencies and colors are we gravitating towards, we are um, activated by. So for me at the moment, it's obviously green, um, and this is a, a Gaia Consciousness New Earth Frequency Green. And so I've been eating lots of things like cucumbers, I've been dreaming about avocados and wanting to eat more of those. Uh, I've just started to drink celery juice again and when we look at the word celery, it is cell celery. We are nurturing the body with high frequency uh, codes of light that will assist the body to ascend to because the consciousness is expanding, but we are doing the work so that we can assist the light body to be nurtured and to come up to 
resonated the, high, the highest frequency, but at the same frequency as our consciousness has reached. Our con consciousness is like this cloud that can reach this huge expanse and the body is lagging behind because it's denser, but we are able to change that and change the frequency by listening to what our soul, our higher self is asking us to do. So this is one of those. Um, and then also I've been working with the Aurora Borealis frequencies, which you can see here, let's see. So these are Gaia consciousness frequencies again, very, very high frequency and a very potent consciousness. Um, and once we are able to merge with this frequency from within us, these, these andaras are only tools of assistance. I find that they assist me greatly and they accelerate the journey of activation for me. They, um, I think I'm such a visual person. I, I see in colour and frequency um, and hear in tones and frequencies. And um, so these are just an extension of the essential, essential tools that are given to us to be able to um, make this ascension journey a bit easier and um, so so they've come into my reality it's it doesn't mean that you have to have an andara the andaras will come into your consciousness into your reality if if it is aligned uh, if it is something you feel you can benefit from and i already see the frequencies the activations um and then i i I know, oh, so I'm going to be working more and more with this certain frequency or this certain colour. So um, the activation is still taking place with or without the Andara, but it can take you in deeper and at a more rapid rate um, and give you an even greater expanse of awareness and understanding when we do work and if we do work but there are other tools of ascension available as well that we can use. And the greatest tool of ascension that's given to us on the planet right now is nature and her incredible abundance and colors, uh, and it's free. So it's a, a really important part of our ascension journey to connect from inside with nature. So we have the Aurora Borealis here, which is very, very uh, potent as a consciousness. And when we merge with this consciousness, then we do feel that we're expanding from inside and connecting from such a deeper space within the heart to all that is. And just in comparison, but they're not so different, they are interlinked. I wanted to show you the Aurora Borealis here, which what, I've, what, what these Aurora Borealises do, especially when I place them on the body, um, is they assist these cells to activate more light. Um, it's a cosmic activation. All your cells will be bursting with light, opening up to the Christed frequencies more and more um, with these, and also merging with the Gaia consciousness, which is a very, very high frequency indeed for us to be activating from within inside of us. And these assist, assist the body to be able to, to go through that integration with greater ease, if you like. And then these came through, and these are the Lemurian frequencies. And they're just slightly different in colour. One is more sort of turquoisey, translucent in colour, and the other more greeny, gold. And these Lemurians uh, hold a huge Lemurian consciousness and they're filled with light, Christed consciousness, love, beauty, remembrance, simplicity. They remind us of the, the ease, the flow, the freedom that we are at our very original consciousness. It's taking us back to the frequency of remembrance, of, of our origin frequency, of our original 
consciousness where we were crystalline, light beings, free, flowy, plasma. And interestingly, since I've been working with these, uh, so many things have changed. Foods that I want to eat have cha are changing again continually. Um, I'm eating less and less uh, and gravitating towards more of the colours. Um, and also the clothes that I want to wear, everything seems extremely heavy so I've had to purchase a few new pieces that feel really light on the body because the body is being reminded of the freedom uh, it used to um, exist in. The plasma, the crystalline, the original consciousness that it is and it's being reminded of this and so everything that that's a bit denser that doesn't resonate at that frequency now is really being brought up for attention for me to see um, so it's just these subtle things and take note of all these subtleties don't brush it away and, and say oh that's just silly really listen to it because this is how the light body is communicating with you and asking you to partner up with it uh, in order to make this transition easier because we are transitioning as beings and uh, every cell is changing, uh, our whole, everything is changing because we are returning back to our original consciousness. We are going so deep within the heart now um, that the frequency of the heart is oozing um, from each cell of our being um, from our energetic body out and so everything is going to be changing and this is happening on a global level this is um, so many beacons of light frequencies that we are emanating this beautiful frequency out all around the planet connecting us in this beautiful web of crystalline uh, beautiful Lemurian frequencies so um, Yes, they're speaking about taking us home again to what is, uh, what feels right, what feels natural, what is organic for us as light beings now. So I just wanted to share these colours and frequencies with you so that you could feel them and experience them. So what's happening now is simply a returning to these Lemurian frequencies, to these Gaia consciousness frequencies that are held very deeply inside. And it's all about simplicity, it's all about finding that inner connection and peace so that we are able to emanate this out. After this uh, video, I'm going to include uh, an activational video just at the back end of it so that you can see activational images that have been created by mostly the Lemurian and Aras and some of the other greens as well that wanted to be used for these light encoded activations and some images of the Andaras themselves as well so that they can assist and stimulate and activate you um, to to start to see these frequencies and colours in your mind's eye more and more. So I hope this has been useful and helpful to you in some way. I love you deeply and the activational video will follow this. So much love.